We have, now have a quorum. Uh, everybody should have your folder. If not, I know this is not customary for us to be in here, but this was the only room we could get. Um, first of all, I want you to look through as we go. We're going to take up Senate Bill 373 first, but you have the bridge namings, uh, resolutions, and road naming resolutions, or excuse me, dedications here in your folder. You can look through them as we go through 373, and if you have any questions, uh, we'll take them up uh, after we get through with SB 373. Uh, any questions at this time? Chair here and none. I'm going to allow Chairwoman Sheldon now to talk about the substitute to 373. Does everybody have that in your folder? You should if you don't. Um, actually, Chairwoman Sheldon, if you don't mind, hold on. Um, Chairman Wilkerson's here today. He's got an amendment to 373, and I'm kind of going to go out of order, but I want to give him an opportunity to present his amendment uh, first uh, in case he has to leave. If there's any questions, we can you can talk to him. I'll actually be offering his amendment in, in the committee, but I wanted him to have a chance to come by and speak to us today on it. So, Chairman Wilkerson, you should be on. Thank, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Members of the committee, I uh, appreciate the, the opportunity. Um, this is, uh, I'm just trying to clarify something that there's been a great deal of confusion about uh, in the general aviation community. As you know, I used to fly, um, still, still interested in, in uh, general aviation particularly, uh, but the, what has happened uh, is there's been so much misinformation and confusion by local authorities who appoint members to, uh, to commissions uh, or, or to the authorities. Uh, it could be county commissioner, mayor, whatever. Uh, and in some cases, uh, a, a, a commissioner wanted to appoint a person, uh, an airport tenant, to, to the local commission and was told it's against Georgia law. Well, it's not, and the law is silent. And it, it, this is just basically uh, saying that uh, notwithstanding any provision contained in local law, tenants of public airport shall be eligible for membership on an airport authority or commission. It's no mandate, it's just, it, it just clarifies it, says they're eligible. Uh, because in many cases, they bring a, a much better perspective. And as a matter of fact, Mr. Chairman, uh, for example, right now, uh, the Tacoa Stevens County Airport Authority has two tenants. Douglas Municipal Airport Commission has one. The Donaldsonville Municipal Airport Commission has four. And the Atlanta Regional Airport Commission has one. And there was concern that they would be dismissed, and they should be. It's, again, the law is silent. Thank you. Um, and I, I mean, we, we've looked into it as well, and right now, um, Chairman Wilkerson is correct, the law is silent, but we're just trying to uh, put something in statute so that if anybody has any dispute, they'll be able to go back and look at it and see that this is allowed. Do I have any questions for uh, Chairman Wilkerson? Representative Gardner, is that you? Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. I'm trying to figure out where this goes. It says I don't have it. deleting have line 99, but we don't have nine. Is it a different line? Is the of it amended the original bill? Am I looking at third? It. Am I looking at two four three S? Yes, that's yes. We're gonna have to. Uh, I don't, I couldn't when we out. take up the amendment, we'll have to uh, to adjust it to the lines because it is okay. amending the original bill and not the substitute that you have in your folder. It seems uh, that what Representative Wilkerson is saying makes sense. I just don't yeah. know where it goes. Yeah, we, we're going to have to change the, the line on there. But is there any questions uh, for Chairman Wilkerson regarding this? Chair here and none. Okay, thank you, Chairman Wilkerson. You you can leave. I mean, you, you're welcome to stay, but if you... <laughs> I can understand. Thank you, Chairman Wilkerson. Okay, Chairwoman Sheldon. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, today, <clears throat> I bring uh, before you how Senate Bill 7, 37, 373. I know we've had some um, 
interested parties have uh, met over the past couple of days and came up with some solutions, hopefully, to address the, some of the con concerns we heard in committee the other day. Um, basically, we just um, continue to allow for, or I guess the goal of this language bill is to encourage um, handicapped or wheelchair, wheelchair accessible taxi cabs, um, but also at the same time um, protecting the, the current medallion process. But and this would allow vehicles or cabs that um, have um, are handicap accessible may be able to pick up a, a client and take them outside of their jurisdiction. And while they're outside their jurisdiction, they would be allowed to um, pick up an, an able-bodied or just anyone to bring them back into the jurisdiction. And um, so basically now the they would have a decal that the county municipal, municipal corporation would give them, and uh, the regulations or ordinance would be uh, would fall upon that county or municipality of where the the vehicle is for hire. Okay. Any questions from any of the committee members on the sub that we have before us? We have already. Okay. Hold on. Let's see. Chairman Davis. Chairman Davis. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'd just like to be recognized for an amendment at the proper time. Okay. Any other questions or comments concerning the legislation? We um, we took testimony uh, and all on this legislation the other day, um, so I'm not going to allow testimony from the audience today. Uh, so. What is the pleasure of the committee on S on the substitute to SB 373? Do I hear a motion? Well, we're, we're, we're going to take up the amendment in a minute. We, we have a motion in a second. Okay. Chairman Davis on your amendment. Mr. Chairman, I'd like for, uh, the amendment to strike lines 54 through 56 dealing with the local governing authority uh, posting it on their websites. Okay, Chairman Davis has moved to amend the substitute to 373 by striking lines 54 through 56. Any questions or discussions? I'm sorry, 54 through 56. I give everybody an opportunity to look at the bill and make sure. What, what number are you representing, Gardner? Or punch a button. Okay. Why, why you would want to take that out, it seems that it would be very helpful to people with disabilities. Chairman Davis. It just seems like a, an additional hurdle for the, the local governing authority to make sure that they monitor this, that it's on all their, their media outlets and whatnot. So uh, I don't think we do this for any other service that's provided or any other industry. Uh, that's, this is a private industry. Uh, the, the bill's focusing on access for wheelchair-bound uh, people. I don't think it's really a, a need for the, the county to um, advertise for these, these different companies that do that. We don't do it for any other companies and any other services. Mr. Chairman, I just want to clarify with the author of the amendment. So your reason for this is that you think it's, it's use of public property or dollars to advertise. Is that? I just want, I just want to clarify the, the, the real purpose of that. Okay, thank you. Chairman Dollar? You had, okay. All right, so on the gentleman's motion that we strike lines 54 through 56 and number accordingly is that your motion on his motion do i hear a, a move? move i have a motion do i have a second I have a second all those in favor of chairman davis's motion let it know by saying aye aye all those opposed motion carries 
Okay. Now to take up the amendment that um, was uh, was explained by Chairman Wilkerson. Hold on, I'm sorry. Who's 17? Did you have a presenter? I think. Mr. Chairman, that will not prohibit anybody from putting it online if they so choose in a county vote. That's correct. It doesn't prohibit them. It just doesn't, it just mandate. doesn't require them to do it. That's correct. Thank you. No. Okay. <laughs> On the amendment that uh, Chairman Wilkerson explained, if any of you were not here and you have any questions, you should have that in your folder, AM390020. Uh, I know a couple of you walked in late. Um, this was actually a, a bill that was in Chairman Hamilton's committee and it was in there too late for him to be able to take action on it this year. Uh, Chairman Hamilton brought it to me as long as, as well as Chairman Wilkerson to try to, to help put it in some legislation for him and this was the vehicle where it applied to. So the amendment is, is actually numbered, it's going to be numbered wrong because he had it according to the original bill and not the substitute, so we will, have to um, let me make sure I can read this right too. Uh, <coughs> we will delete actually right. B let's see. Instead of by deleting line thirteen and replacing it in lieu of, it will actually be line by deleting line 15 and replacing in lieu of thereof the following. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Deleting line 13. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to operate this thing up here as well as. Yes, um, I can. Would you like me to do that for you yeah. today? Why don't you handle that? I'll take care of that. 17. 17. Representative Anderson? No, 17. I'm talking about Representative Geisinger. My only question, Mr. Chairman, is it germane to the subject that we're dealing with? I believe that it is within the same uh, code section. We have actually talked to Legislative Council about it, and they said that it was okay. What was that? 12. Seven. dollar. Hold on, we're, we're gonna, I'm going to get this, this worked out. <coughs> Uh-oh. Who's six? Okay. Oh. Six, right there. Chairman Benton. To determine where that, the first part of the amendment goes, when you just put that on line 13 after the word repeal, You're talking about on line 12 after automatic repeal? No, I'm not looking at 13. Who's 15? It's, 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 it's right after, uh, actually, Chairman Ben, it's right after, uh, it's on line 12, because if you see that repeal has a semicolon, and if you look at the original bill, that's where she intended for okay. it to go after right. the repeal with the semicolon. All right. So by, it will, um, the amendment will, after repeal on line 12, you will insert the following language. Actually, I, I, I strike that after the word automatic, repeal goes in and replaces what you see there at the top, repeal to amend chapter 80 of title 36 and so forth on line 12. And then on your amendment where line seven is by deleting line 99, it would go it would start after line 77. 
on your, it'll be a new section. Yes, Chairman Davis. Am I on? You're on. Yeah. I, I think you just delete line 79 and insert there, sir, respectively. Okay. All right. Does everybody have? I have a question. I have it correctly. I'm not left-handed. You got <laughs> We're trying to. We're trying to work this, y'all. We apologize. Is your number on? Okay. Like maybe we need to uh, make this the new section two. That's that's what uh, Chairman Davis. Just said. That said. Okay. Yes, yes, ma'am. So section three becomes section four. Yes. Okay. Correct? No. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. This is still no, in section right. three because it's on the amendment. Same thing. Okay. Okay. Does everybody have where the amendment will fit in the uh, substitute at? I do apologize for, for this amendment not being um, correct as far as the line placement. It was drawn according to the original bill and not the sub. And. Uh, so any questions on the amendment AM390020? Who is 15? Chairman Hamilton. Hey, Mr. Chairman. I wasn't here when Chairman Wilkinson stated uh, what he did. I just want to uh, bring forth some information that had been provided. Uh, I know this is an affirmative uh, or an affirmation that they're able to serve. Uh, there are currently eight different tenants on four different airport commissions and authorities that we're just simply trying to uh, allow them to be codified that they have the ability to serve. And so I just wanted, there are real people in those positions right now. Thank you. And to those that just got here, y'all didn't hear uh, Chairman Wilkerson's presentation, but he, he did talk about those. But thank you, Chairman Hamilton, for bringing it up to those that, that come in. Any other questions on the... Chairman Davis. You're on. Thank you. Um, I was wondering if, if, if GDOT made a comment on this or where we're at with, I mean, are we going to be, um, you know, these airports are getting a lot of federal dollars through the FAA. Or are we doing anything that, that violates any federal code or anything like that that could jeopardize some of our airport aid money? Stephanie, sure. with GDOT, um, come up to the mic. You got to be on TV. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make you come to the podium, all the way to the front, right here. You can stand right there with, with. Uh, I'm sorry, I had the podium. No, it took me a second. <laughs> Go well, ahead. I'm, I don't know of any actual federal law that would specifically say you cannot have a tenant on your aviation authority board. There are very specific um, items that we have to meet or criteria that we have to meet when we do get those federal dollars that say that there was no um, person weighing in on that, you know, on us awarding a contract or anything like that that may have benefited financially from that decision. And so you would potentially jeopardize some of those federal funding by allowing the tenant to be on your airport authority and we have serious reservations about that. Well, can I ask you then why do we currently have one on the Atlanta Airport Authority? I did not realize that we did. So in other words, we currently have, what was it, Chairman Hamilton? Yes, sir. we currently have eight different people serving in four different authorities and commissions. We have uh, uh, two tenants serving on the Tacoa Stevens uh, Airport Authority. We have uh, one on the Douglas Municipal Airport Commission. We have four in the Donaldsonville Municipal Airport and uh, one on the Atlanta Regional Airport Commission. All right. And I was not aware of that, but when I, in speaking with uh, Ms. Comer at DOT, she had very serious concerns about our federal funding. Well, well I will say that this bill, um, as, as it travels, <laughs> will have to be um, back from agree or disagree at, with the Senate. And um, I am, I'm, I'm sensitive to, to Chairman Wilkerson's 
uh, what he's trying to do here. So I, I want to allow it to take place today. But if there are some serious questions, please get back with us as, as we move forward, and we'll, we'll make sure we. Okay, and we'll make sure we address it. Chairman Hamilton. Yes, and, and, and I think the way I read it, it's just all we're saying is they shall be eligible. I mean, they're Correct. currently serving right now, so if there's a problem, uh, we'd certainly like to hear what what uh, that eligibility does to restrict any federal funds. Absolutely. Chairman Hamilton. Chairman Davis, you still punched over there. You through for now? <laughs> Somebody's over here. I don't know if that Who's is. over here? Anybody want to use that? No, okay. That's nothing. Okay. All right. So we have before us AM 390020. Do I hear a motion on the amendment? I have a motion. I have a second. Any further discussion? Yes. Chairman Dollar. Okay. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. All those opposed? All right. Amendment passes. On final passage of the substitute to SB 373 as amended by the House. Chairman Dollar. Chairman Dollar. Uh, Mr. Chairman, we said that in regards to the Davis Amendment that we passed out, that would not preclude them from offering that information on a website or anything, correct? That's correct. Because in looking at this, I didn't know if other members would have more be more comfortable if they were slightly in favor of it as to reinstating the language uh, in line 54 and 55, um, striking the word shall and the words in a prominent location to reach us that a local gov governing authority may post such information on, an, on a website. Um, I, I'd like to offer that in the form of an amendment just to put it out there to see if to see if people would be more comfortable with that. Okay. Wait. Um, state it one more time. We're basically essentially just reinstating the language that we struck with the Davis Amendment and uh, striking the word shall and put uh, may. And then striking the words in a prominent location. Okay, so your amendment is to reinstate the language that Chairman Davis's amendment took out and on line 54 strike the word shall, replace it with may, and then on line 54 strike the words in a prominent location. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Okay, on Chairman Dollar's motion, do I have a second? Have a second. Any further discussion? Chairman Davis. One second. All right, go ahead now. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I think that's permissible enough. Okay. All right, so I have a motion to have a second. Any other further discussion? Chair hearing none. All those in favor of the dollar amendment signify by saying aye. All those opposed? All right. So, back to the motion we've had a motion and we've had a second on sb 373 the substitute as amended by the house all those in favor signify by saying aye, aye. all those opposed sb substitute as amended by the house passes on to the rules committee now thank you mr. you got to turn you on Oh, thank you, Mr. Chairman and members of the committee. Thank you, Chairwoman Sheldon. All right. Now, on Senate Resolution 843, which is the Senate's version of our House version of the road dedications, bridge dedications, and intersection ded dedications, does anyone have any problems with any of the amendments that you see within your folder. What we're doing is we're adding these resolutions to the Senate version as we do every year and they do the same to ours. Those that didn't make it in time to, um, to get in the House version is 
there any discussion on any of these? Representative Baker, you got any questions? No, I mean, do you have any, before I move forward, you got any questions? I mean, you. you like to share? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just want to make sure before we move forward. Everyone has had these in front of you since, uh, since you got here today. So do I hear a motion to amend Senate Resolution 843? with the other resolutions that you have before you in your folder. I have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Chair here and none. All those in favor signify by saying aye. aye. All those opposed, of course there are none for these. I appreciate your service and thank you for being here today. We're adjourned.